Hi, Lily Rose. I'm hoping this is going to help you now, okay? So, question four was difficult. So, don't feel bad that you were struggling with it, okay? Question four is difficult. So, they tell you that you've got your filament light bulb that's in parallel. Oopsie, it's doing all sorts of weird things now. Let's go back up here. Oopsie. There we go. So, we have the filament light bulb over here which is in parallel with the 150 ohm resistor, right? And they tell you that the potential difference is 12 volts and we have a current of 0.1. Then they want the resistance of the filament light bulb. Now, normally, when two resistors are in parallel, what would you do? You would go 1 over R, which is the total resistance, yeah? Okay. And that would be 1 over 150, plus 1 over the resistance of the light bulb. Let's call it RL. Now, the problem is I don't know RL. That means I've got to say to myself, can I find what the total resistance of this is? So what I do now is I look at my circuit and I go, well, I know the potential difference is 12. That means the potential difference over this part, the voltage, is also 12 because everything the cell give, gives must be taken by the current must be taken by the resistors yeah so i know that resistance is current is potent is voltage divided by current so that means i'm going to take 12 volts divided by my total current and i get 120. this 120 must go here. So in other words, I've now got 1 over 120 equal to 150 plus 1 over the R of the lamp. And I don't think you can see what I'm writing. So I still don't think you can. 1 over the R of the lamp is going to be 1 over 120 minus 1 over 150, okay? Now, it's a math problem. Now it's, been a, now it's all about the maths, okay? So now it's about being able to solve that, and I'm going to leave that up to you for now, okay? Because that's quite an important skill that you practice. So I'm not going to finish this off, but where you can get the value of the lamp, okay? I want you to do that. But don't worry if you don't get it, because I'm going to go through this again in class tomorrow. Okay, then, ah, now, this, these are the nice questions. So they say to each one of the three bulbs in the circuit has a resistance of 20. So I'm just going to write it in here. 20 and 20, yeah. Then they tell me the cell has a potential of 12. The first thing they want you to do is to calculate the effective resistance of the circuit. So what you recognize is that these two are in parallel, and then they're in series with that one. So this is the parallel section. Oh, no, I meant to write P there. I need to calculate that one first, and doesn't really give us enough space. But, so, 1 over R, and I'm going to put it as a parallel, is 1 over 20, plus 1 over 20, okay? Now, if you put that in your calculator, it's going to give you an answer of 1 over 10, okay? But remember, that's 1 over R parallel. So now, I have to turn it upside down. So my R parallel is 10. What that means for me is I could have taken these two light bulbs and replaced it with one more light bulb that has a value of 10 ohms. So, my total resistance, okay, through everything, is the 10 from the parallel plus the 20, which means it's 30 ohms. Okay? Now, they want to know the current of each of the light bulbs. So, and this is something that I want to show you. So, now what happens here, okay, is watch here. 
all the current goes to here. And now there's a choice. So some of it's going to go through that one. And some of it's going to go through that one. And I'm using the same color there because they're both 20 ohms. So the current's going to split evenly. It's got equal choices. It's just as difficult to go through either. And then it's all going to come back together and go through there. So that means for us that the 20 ohm resistor gets all of the current, the total current. And each of these get half. So I know that resistance is potential difference divided by current. So current is potential difference divided by resistance. So I'm going to go 12 divided by 30 because that's my total. Okay. And that's 0 0.4. That is for bulb A. Okay. Bulb B and C are in parallel. So... That means the current is going to be equal to 0 0.2 amps in bulb B and bulb C. Okay? So this would be 0 0.2. That would be 0 0.2. Why? Because it now gets split. Okay. Then they say... What will happen to the size of the current lead in the cell if the switch is open? Now, over here, if I open the switch, no current's going to go. That one disappears. Essentially, what we're doing is we're going, bye-bye, bye-bye, see, you no longer exist. Okay, current won't go through it. What happens now is my total resistance, okay, is going to be 40. Because instead of having that extra one in parallel, and I have two in series, and each one's 20, I add them together, I get 40. We know, and we've done it here, that current is voltage divided by resistance. So now it's going to be 12 divided by 40. So my current goes to 0 0.3 amperes. Okay. You may want to read... Go through this again, Lily Rose. I am going to go through all of this again in class tomorrow. Okay, so hang in there.